Welcome to Rocket Software's session on Rocket Data Virtualization, RDV. In today's digital age, it is essential for organizations to quickly respond to market changes and emerging opportunities while effectively managing costs. This can be difficult to achieve as the amount of data worldwide is growing and being stored longer. Statistics show that mainframes continue to be a foundation of modern business as Z-Systems generate 75% of all enterprise data. IBM mainframes are used by most of the top financial institutions, insurers, and airlines, and $3 trillion in daily commerce flows through mainframes. The mainframe has a long and great history of reliability, availability, and serviceability, and the data on the mainframe is one of an organization's most valuable assets. In current environments, there is usually a limited view of data across the enterprise, and access to this data can be challenging and costly as it is segregated by business unit, format, or platform. Valuable business data resides in secure transactional systems that require an understanding of the underlying access methods and specialized skills to access. Older architectures can't always handle data volume, velocity, or variety, and traditional data integration is inadequate, oftentimes requiring extraction, transforming, and loading ETL of data to another target to make it more easily accessible. This is costly, labor-intensive, and introduces latency. To help address these challenges, Rocket Data Virtualization creates virtualized views of data, allowing real-time access and integration of enterprise data without having to move, replicate, or transform it. With RDV, a data services layer, integrates data and content on demand from disparate sources in real time. Your developers and engineers use modern access methods shielding them from unique data implementations. A metadata catalog keeps track of data and contains information about how to convert it from non-relational to relational formats. Right back to the original data source, regardless of location, is supported. Data can be accessed using a variety of APIs, such as REST, HTTP, SOAP, and SQL, and a broad range of mainframe data sources, including distributed, operational, and messaging are supported. RDV is a mainframe resident data virtualization solution that allows you to query mainframe data in place. It provides simple transactional access with no data movement, is open to all applications using modern APIs, securely encrypts data in transit if needed to move off platform, is fast by exploiting Z architecture, including parallelism and in-memory processing, and keeps Z costs down with up to 99% zip offload. Now we're going to show you a product demonstration of RDV's capabilities. Hello, and welcome to this demonstration video on Rocket Data Virtualization, or RDV. In particular today, we're going to focus on just how easy it is to create a virtual table over a vSAM file, and then using ANSI SQL, query that virtual table, returning data from that vSAM file. Here we are in the RDV studio and I am connected to my JDVD RDV server that is running. You can see here the list of virtual tables that currently exist and we're going to create a new virtual table over a vSAM file. But before we do that, why don't we jump over and look at the statistics and characteristics of the vSAM file itself. The name of the vSAM file is ts5837.staff.vsam. It has a data and index component, so you can see that it is a KSDS vSAM file. I have a copybook layout in a member called StaffVS in the ts5837.cobalt PDS 
that contains the copybook layout for that VSAM file. You can see that it has a key, which is the ID. It has the name length, the name, department, job, and years. We can also look at that VSAM file through File Manager to examine its contents. And when we look at it, you can see the different entries. Here's the key ID column, 10, 20, 30, 40. The name length column, 7687. The actual name, Sanders, Pernal, Murkai, O'Brien. The department number, 20, 20, 38, 38. The job and the years column. Now we can jump back over to the studio. And the first thing we have to do before we create a virtual table is we need to define the copybook layout for the vSAM file. And that's done down here in this admin tab. And there's source libraries. And I have many source libraries, but the one in particular I wanna look at is the COBOL source library. And if I look at that, I have created it and it's pointing towards that ts5837.cobol PDS. So once you have your source libraries defined to where the copy books are being housed, you can then proceed up to the top where virtual tables are listed and you can create your virtual table. You would simply right click on virtual table and say create virtual table, pick the type. There's many different data source types. In this case, we're gonna pick vSAM as that's what the file is. We're gonna give the table a name or the, I'm going to call it staff vs2. I'm going to say next. We have to point it towards the copybook layout. You can see that I'm pointing towards that PDS. And I have a member in here, the staff vs, which contains the layout. I'm going to download it from the mainframe to the studio. You can see it here. I'm going to check to use staff vs. You can see that it's downloaded it from the mainframe. And here's that same layout that we've seen over on the mainframe here within the studio and say next. You have to give it the actual vSAM file that you're going to be accessing. And then you click validate. You can see that the cluster name is valid and it's type KSDS. Say okay. And you say finish. There you can see that it's created the staff VS2 table. And I can expand it and you can see the columns within it. And now once you have that virtual table created, you can generate ANSI SQL to query that table. The studio allows you to do that by simply right clicking and saying generate query. And that generated this query, select and all the columns from the DV SQL, which is a schema and the staff VS2, which is the virtual table that we just created. And you can see that that query ran and it returned all the data of which you can see there's a total of 35 rows. And then you can compare this data with file manager looking at the actual file. So you can see that if we were to look at the names, Sanders, Pernal, Murngai, O'Brien, Hayes, that that matches what we see in the query using the virtual table. All the names match, the departments 20, 20, 38, 38, 20, 20, 38, 38. If you wanted to, you could use that same virtual table to perform inserts, updates, or deletes against that vSAM file. That concludes this demonstration video on Rocket Data Virtualization and how you can generate virtual tables over vSAM files and then use those for your ANSI SQL queries. Thanks for watching. To summarize, 
RDB provides a breadth and depth of capabilities to help meet your organization's needs to respond to market changes and emerging opportunities while effectively managing costs. Benefits that you may realize by using RDV include addressing the growing skills gap for legacy data sources, reducing cost and latency of moving data off the mainframe, gaining insight from data sources not previously available, standardizing application logic for data access, accelerating time to market and driving digital transformation, and also supporting your hybrid cloud architectures by integrating data. Thank you so much for joining our session today.